everybody, welcome to Dad Can Cook. And today it's Easter, and uh, we're gonna have some shrimp cocktail, and we're gonna have some poached salmon on a salad with a ton of ingredients on it, and I'm gonna make that for you today. But my salmon is gonna be a blackened Cajun salmon that I'm making with my mix, okay? So uh, let's get started with this. And I've made shrimp cocktail many, many times before, so I'm not gonna make it for you. But I'm gonna show you here. Uh, I got my pot, my saucepan, kind of like. And I have three pieces of salmon in it. I have my piece of salmon right here that I'm gonna put in my blackening mix, and I'll show you that. Okay, but first we're gonna make a court bouillon to poach this in in the oven. Okay, and it's always great if you have a metal handle because you can put this right in the oven and take it out with the uh, pot holder. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take three quarters of a cup of white wine. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, then I'm going to take some bay leaf. Let's get this a little bit closer here. Let's get up on it. Let's get up on it. Got some bay leaf, a couple of peppercorns, okay, uh, a couple of teaspoons of salt, and then we're going to cover the fish with water. Make sure that the, the, the top of the fish is covered. Like so. And this is going to go in a 400 degree oven. Okay, but I'm gonna put it on the side for right now for a quick second. Okay, now let me show you my Cajun spice. Okay, we got that there. And let me get my piece of fish that I'm gonna have out of my wrap. Okay, so I'm going to take my fish, face down, I'm going to put it in my mix. Okay, I'm going to get it all on there, real nice, like so. Okay, let me just stick it on this paper plate for now. So I got that all coated, okay? That's going to go on the side. Okay, and now with that's going to, what's going to go on top of this is we're going to make a beau blanc sauce okay so we're going to make a beau blanc sauce in this pot and like always I got a tablespoon and a half of shallot going in there I have three quarters of a cup of white wine just like so and then this is going to go on the fire over here Okay, and that's going to go on high, and we're going to reduce it down, okay? And I'll show you the stages as it reduces. In the meantime, I got some gold potatoes that I'm going to roast off because my mother-in-law and my mother, my wife, are going to have just a regular salmon dinner. My daughter and I are going to have the poached salmon salad and the Cajun blackened salad which is the meal that I want to show. So um, these are going to go in the oven. Okay? And when that reduces down, that white wine, we're going to hit it with a full cup of heavy cream and reduce it down. Okay? Okay, so now I'm just going to set up the shrimp cocktail, okay? And I'm going to show you what I do. I take my margarita glasses, okay? And then I take some shredded, I chop up some shredded romaine, and I put the romaine in the glasses, like so. Okay. My mother in law don't eat that much lettuce, so I'm not going to give her that much. Okay. Put it in there like so. Alright. And now I'm going to take my shrimp. 
and I'm just going to stick them around the rim. Okay. And I'm going to serve six of these bad boys on a shrimp cocktail, like so. Okay. These are nice shrimp. These are 21-25s. Very crisp and tasty. Now I'm going to make the cocktail sauce. Okay, here we go with the horseradish, all right? I'm going to just make a small amount for these four right here. So I have a little, we can do it right in this cup. Okay, we're going to go ketchup. Getting that? Ketchup. Okay, some nice horseradish. Let's give that a mix. And get it a taste. Just a little more horseradish. That'll do it. And a squeeze a lemon. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and put it on top like so. There you go. Whoops, right in the sink. So there you go. That's that. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for the next 15 minutes before I serve them. Okay, now I got this all reduced down. Whoa, it's hot. The handle's hot. Okay, I have that all reduced down to almost nothing. Okay, and I'm going to hit it with the cup of heavy cream. And I'm going to put that on low, and we're going to reduce that down on the fire. And when that gets close, I'll show you how we finish it with the butter. Okay, so now I got my oven preheated at 400. Come over here. See this? And I have a pan here that has about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in it. Okay, I'm putting that on high because I want to get that real hot for my Cajun blackened salmon. Well, I'm taking my court, my, my salmon in the court bouillon, and I'm putting that in the oven, okay? And that's going to be in there for probably about 20 minutes. And as soon as that's done, we're going to plate everything and eat. And I'll show you the plating of all the salad and all the fixings I have to go with the salad and how I'm going to put it together, okay? Okay, halfway through, I just turned them over, okay? They're going back in the oven, okay? That pan's getting real hot, all right? So I'm gonna take my salmon that I have in the blackening, Cajun mix, and I'm gonna lay it down in there. I'm gonna put my fan on high. Okay. I got my sauce going right here. Okay, and we're gonna hit that with butter in a few, but now let me show you what I'm gonna do for my salad. Okay, for my salad, I'm gonna have chopped avocado. Okay, I'm having poached gold and red potatoes. Some of those. Okay, cucumber. Some of those. Chopped tomato, some of those, okay? And then 
mandarin orange. Okay, a couple of spoons of mandarin orange in there. All right, and then I have hearts of palm. Okay, so I have sliced hearts of palm that I'm going to put in here because I love these. Okay, hearts of palm, breaking them up a little bit in there. And then some water chestnuts. Okay, a few water chestnuts in there. Now, I have organic mix. Okay, I'm going to put a nice handful in there of my organic mix. I got my asparagus ready to go. Okay, and let me get my tongs. And I'm going to mix this all up. Like so. Right? I'm going to take my plate. And I'm going to put all of this on my plate. Okay? Then, I'm going to take my asparagus and I'm going to lay them on the side there like so. I want them like that. Okay? And I'm going to hold this until the salmon's ready. Okay? In the meantime, my sauce is getting ready here, and in a minute we're going to hit it with the butter. But first, let's take a look at our color. Yes. Now that's a blackened salmon, okay? And that's going in the oven. In about four minutes, this is all going to be okay. Done. Now for this, okay. Now for the sauce. Okay. So I got my cream, wine, and shallots coming off the fire, right? And woo, we want that off the fire because the butter will break. And we're going to put it in slowly. We're going to whisk it in slowly. And we got to keep moving it because we don't want it to melt because it'll separate. So this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Okay. Again, they're going to give up my day job. Okay. We're whisking that in. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Okay. Got to do this quickly here. Put in the rest of that butter. And we're going to whisk it in. Whiskey yes, it's whiskey business, as Kari says. Okay. Now you got to make sure you get it all, because if you let it sit, and there were chunks of butter in there, they'll just like melt and put in pools of like oil. Or buttery, you know, but this is when we're emulsifying it in by doing this. So we're making sure that we have all of that butter melted. Okay. Like so. I'm going to put that right there. And we're going to come back over here. Now I'm going to move my salad, I'm going to pop in the other two plates here. My daughter's having her poached salmon on the side, you know, with her diet thing, so I'm not even going to show that. Okay. Here we come. Now right before the end, I threw in the asparagus so they would get hot after I had blanched them to save me some time. So now I have these asparagus here. Okay. Like so. This is what my wife and my mother-in-law wanted. And I have a roasted gold potato, baked gold potato for each of them. 
Okay. I don't know what happened to it. Here it is. Here's my spatula. And what I'm going to do... is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plate them. Like so. Take that bay leaf off. Probably your plate. Okay. Take that bay leaf off there. Okay. Another piece of asparagus. All right. I'm going to dump this court bouillon in the water, in the sink, okay? And now I'm going to sauce theirs. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now this is grandma's, this is mom's. Okay, now we're going to come back to me, and here's my salad plate, right? Piece of brown avocado, take that off. Okay, and check this out. Okay, and now with this, you can close that to me. And now, with this here, like so, I'm going to take this beautiful Bablon sauce. Like so. A mandarin orange, some more. Some yellow and orange pepper. Some craisins. Some sunflower seeds. I'm gonna put a little of this sauce on my asparagus. And then just a little bit of crumble feta. So many different layers of flavor in this. Hope you enjoyed this episode.